All right, that was, yeah, follow that A. Uh, lastly, we talk about a couple chapters, um, in our chapter, and then we'll be out. Uh, but marriage, this is from uh, uh, Respect My Philosopher. It's a, it's a contract, yo, with the government. <laughs> um, it's an institution that's there to promote this family structure. The family structure is presumably good for the system. Um, you know, single parents, in theory, uh, tax the system, whereas a nuclear family does not tax the system in the same way. So from a governmental perspective, a, a, a traditional family um, is better because it is, it's really just a contract with, with the government and you get tax benefits, which I've never got. I've been married for like 12 years and I've always, I paid more in taxes since I got married. Um, but anyways, um, you know, obviously, you know, and then, so what is that? It's, it's literally a contract that you sign with, um, with the government. It's a government contract, usually a state, a state contract where you have your marriage license. Um, and people have argued against, uh, you know, marriage equity for a long time for various reasons. The underlying argument is primarily rich, religious scripture that says it's, you know, uh, unholy, that it's considered deviant, that it's not the way. Now we all know this is fucking bullshit. So, uh, <laughs> let's, that, that, let's throw that out there. Um, the other thought is that it, about procreation is, you know, um, two men or two women can't, can't procreate. So fucking what? Like, there's other ways to have children. There's lots of children out there that need a home. There's uh, artificial insemination. There's other, other, other ways. Surrogates. There's other ways, um, you know. But, like, I don't know why that's always been one of the points, um, you know, tradition often you know this this tradition that's uh you know uh, a history of bigotry that this is the way it is this is how it should it should be this is how marriage has been this is what it is um, and that's fucked up um the other concept is of, of, of a family structure. The structure of a family should be a man and a woman and children, which we, you know, is bullshit. So it's all bullshit, uh, our arguments against it, which is why we have marriage equality uh, in the United States. But the main, the main arguments have always been for it is that basically that, like, dude, these, you know, everybody should have the same rights. Like, t two people should be able to get, get married no matter what... Um, you know, their, their sex is, their sexual orientation is. Um, and then also like, it's like good for them to be able to have a state, a stabilized family, like tax, tax benefits, all the rights, you know, t tax benefits, all the rights that, you know, um, married couples enjoy, you know, should be the rights for people of, of, of the same sex. They should have the same exact rights. They should enjoy the same, um, benefits. Okay. Um, and I love this quote from the book, you know, the best case for gay marriage is that there's no competing, compelling, excuse me, there's no compelling legitimate case against it. And like I said, when I brought up the four arguments that are typically made against, uh, you know, marriage equality, they're all fucking bullshit. So there's no real compelling case that says, yeah, that this shouldn't happen. Um, yeah, like I asked before, you know, is being called butt buddies or a third bathroom, is that equal rights? You know, and I think that's always something we should we should think about is like what what is an equal right versus a, a new right, you know? And I think what most people are fighting for are equal rights, not new rights, but equal rights, you know? This brings us to um, John Stuart Mill. You've heard his name a lot. Uh, concept of negative liberty, right? Um, that you should only, like... You should only... Governments should only... That power should only prevent someone from doing something if it harms others. You should only be able to prevent two men from getting married because it's harmful to other people. You should only be able to prevent women from getting married, two women from getting married, because it, it, because it 
it prevents harm to other other people. You should um, prevent, um, you know, uh, gender queer, non-binary, or transgender people um, from using the the bathroom they of the gender that they identify with. Um, only if it harms other people. And can you prove that that harms other people? That it's harmful to others, right? This basically, the idea of a negative liberty um, is that, like, you know, this is taking away a liberty, you know, and, and, and it's obviously the opposite of a positive uh, liberty. But um, it's important that, you know, for government to strip you of a liberty, right, they must prove that there is harm related to that behavior, that there's harm um, to two people of the same sex being married, which they have not been able to do. Therefore, you shouldn't be stripped of that liberty. Same with uh, bathroom you know, you, using a bathroom. And, you know, um, civil rights are sort of what do what natural rights <laughs> don't, right? Like civil rights give us these natural rights via contract. We should have the natural right to choice of who we marry or where we go to the bathroom. And that's a super, super important. That's part of negative liberty. All right. Anyways, that's it for today. I um, hope you found that interesting or fun or whatever. Hope you enjoyed the episodes. We'll check you on the flip when we talk about drugs and hippies.